I won't let my dog die, says a desperate owner facing 20,000-pound vet bills. A man in desperate need of help with vet bills of up to 20,000 pounds has pledged to do everything in his power to save his dog. Rambo, a two-year-old Weimaraner owned by Jackson Feely, went into hypovolemic shock on January 20. This is an emergency condition in which the heart is unable to pump enough blood to the body due to severe fluid or blood loss. The dog was taken to the emergency vet in the morning after vomiting more than 30 times throughout the night. Mr. Feely stated that Rambo quickly deteriorated and became seriously ill as a result of the serious condition that developed alongside gastroenteritis. Rambo's owner, a prison officer, said he would sell his house to keep her alive after Rambo spent 10 days in intensive care. Mr. Feely set up a GoFundMe account to share updates on Rambo's condition and raise sufficient funds for treatment. During the first week at the vet, he said, Rambo started to vomit, and instead of coming out of her mouth, this fluid was returning to her lungs. She got an infection in her lungs and the fluid around them as a result of this. After that, the dog developed severe pneumonia and lost one lung. According to Mr. Feely, according the vet, Rambo's circumstances could not have been more unfortunate. Although the initial cause is still unknown, Rambo is currently in intensive care and under constant observation. The vets are trying to drain Rambo's lung on a regular basis, keeping an eye on the infection in her lungs and the number of bacteria in the fluid that is being drained out. Rambo continues to vomit as a result of the medication she is taking, and she hasn't eaten in a week. The concern is that there is now a possibility that Rambo has developed an abscess on his lung, which would necessitate extensive surgery to remove. Until Rambo hopefully begins to respond to treatment, vets cannot determine whether this is the case. However, the risk to Rambo's life is significant if it is, which is my greatest fear. If I didn't give her the best chance to survive this horrible situation, I would never forgive myself. According to Mr. Feely, Rambo's insurance covered her up to 6,500 pounds, however, after just one week in care, her bill increased to pound 11, 5,000, and intensive care costs approximately 1,000 pounds per day. Mr. Feely reported on February 2 that the cost of Rambo's care was approaching 20,000 pounds. Because he didn't want his dog to suffer on his own, the proud dog owner would sleep in his car whenever possible to be close to the vet's office. Also, Mr. Feely finally gave a good update yesterday, saying that he had returned home with Rambo after the dog pulled off a miracle. The owner of the dog wrote, Rambo has performed a miracle over the past three days. Hour by hour, she has increased her oxygen efficiency and begun eating and drinking, her lungs are slowly recovering, and her beautiful personality has begun to emerge. She got herself into a little routine of seeing me for ten minutes every four hours, she said, even knowing where to find me in the corner of the waiting room. Added he, the veterinarian's team has been blown away by the power of love, presence, and a true fight for life after conducting every test imaginable and observing her remarkable progress over the past few days. I was nothing sure of shitting myself when they told me she could go home, I admit. Is she fine to keep? What if I overlook something? My little angel is not completely recovered, her road to recovery will be long, and at this point, she still requires 24-hour observation and a significant amount of medication. However, we carried out our promise and returned home. She is just a little baby, with a desire to live and be happy with her big brother Rocky and the feelies, I said. There was no way in hell I was ever going to give up on this gorgeous girl. He also expressed gratitude for the love and support he had received over the past two weeks and thanked everyone who had contributed to Rambo's assistance.